Hey everybody, Scott here. So it is mid-August. Um, it's been a while since I've checked in on the bees and I don't think I've recorded really any video since the beginning when I dumped these bees for the first time. So let's go in, see what the honey looks like. Last time I checked, we had three fully capped honey supers and then that top one was about half full. Uh, the main flow is over. The main nectar flow really ends when the linden trees finish in late June, early July, but there's still a little, a little bit of flowers around the city they're probably pulling in. So yeah, let's open it up, see if the queen's doing good and see if there's any maintenance I have to get done. One of the first things I noticed is that the backing to the screen bottom board that keeps the bees from getting under there, it looks like it's, I don't know if it's broken or if it's just coming off. I'm gonna have to pull all that out, check it out, see if I can fix that. Uh, moving around to the front. Things look pretty normal, pretty healthy. One of these days I'm gonna get a camera that can do macro shots. I really wanna see that front entrance close up. All right, first off, let's check this top super. Get everything opened up. Telescoping lid, got some, uh, wax on it somehow. It's actually really hard to open up nowadays. Oh, the joys of beekeeping and trying to video it in the uh, city. Very noisy. All right. Let's see. Looks like we've got quite a bit of capped honey in here, but we've got room along the edges. They have not fully kept all that off yet. Let me grab the camera and we can take a look in there. So this is the top super that I put in. I don't know, three weeks, four, maybe a month. It's probably been a month since I put this in. Let's see, it's like, I don't know if you can see very well. There's definitely capped honey in most of the ones, but the outer side, they still have a lot of room to actually build up comb too if they needed uh, more space. All right, and just to move these boxes, I'm gonna throw my leather gloves on. I'm more comfortable both mentally and physically when I'm moving the bo high boxes if I've got my leather gloves on. It is easier. It's easier on my hands and it gives me more confidence. Gosh, they have. Move this down tight. Oh, and I lost my hat. That's awkward. It's a little hard to see. Alright, that was awkward. Alright, these are full of cap time. Let's show you this one, see if you can see the difference at all. This is the second box down. See if you can see any difference at all. The comb is built out much further. There's less space in between the frames and all of those frames are capped honey. Since my bees build up, unless they have emptied, unless they've emptied anything out near the brood box, down low, this should be three full supers of honey. separating. Oh, that's heavy. Oh my gosh, that's way heavier. Big old, uh, big old noise there when I separated these box and it's boxes and it snapped a little bit. These don't love it like that, but oh my gosh. They don't love it when you snap the boxes apart. Like these, but it's squish anyone. one. Okay, here we go. Oh, there might actually be some uncapped stuff now on the sides. Interesting enough. Let's see if I can get this last one off pretty quick because what happens, I always have a big problem of uh, 
always have this big problem of, um, yeah, they move like that. Stacking super, stacking honey supers too slow. And then it, uh, the bees on the previous super all come up to the top and start cleaning it off. And then I start snap, smashing bees when I try to set them on each other. Oh gosh. Oh, okay, here we are. Oh gosh, they're so heavy. It's gotta be 60, 70 pounds maybe. Now what I'm gonna do here, put this lid on. I don't know if you can see out of check. I put the inner cover on, try to keep them from robbing as much. We'll see, I don't know if that'll actually help or not, but we'll give it a try. Right now, smoke across top of this. Down to the root box. Uh, what this does, it keeps the queen from getting up into the supers. That way, that way I know that in those medium supers, there's only honey. There's no eggs. There's no queen. I'll have to look through all those supers to see the find the queen or anything. Keep those eggs. Oh. Great minutes. I'm like breathing smoke. That's my fault. Okay. Oh, and drop that since he's fine, but they'll, they'll be fine. Nobody gets smashed. Hello, girls. Don't want to hurt anyone. There's so many bees coming into the hive. I see pollen pants. Okay, straight up. Let's see what we got going on here. A lot of young bees on this one, I think. A lot of bee bread on this one. Let's see if uh, we can get any of this on camera. There's young bees and there's bee bread. Not seeing like a queen or anything. Be a lot of young bees. You can tell they're young because they're lighter color. Other side. Oh gosh, tons of bee bread on this other side and young bees. Some room up there too for food if they need it. I'm gonna try my darndest to put it here without squishing anybody. Okay, so I just set down that frame towards the front of the hive. Um, hopefully if any of those bees fall out, they'll be able to get in pretty quick again because most of them probably haven't ever left the hive. It's their young bees. I have a very tight bee, bee yard here. Luckily it's just one hive, but yeah, the tightness of the yard makes it really hard sometimes to, uh, to manage everything here. Okay, straight up. Try not to roll anybody. Okay. See what do we got here. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got a lot of capped brood. I haven't been in here in at least two weeks, so I think that means I still have a laying queen. I will know for sure when I find her. Here's the other side of that frame. I think I see some bees feeding larvae. I don't see the queen on this one. It's pretty far out, but there's like emerging brood here. You can see a lot of light bees, so there the queen could be here. In addition to looking for the queen, I look for her uh, retinue or her uh, the bees that will care for her. They'll be like feeding her, and doing all that stuff. Uh, it's two two down, six to go. We'll see if I make it all the way across. A lot of times I don't, which sucks. But it's because I'm really slow. 
and I'm right on a busy sidewalk here so I can't let these bees get super uh, super upset tons in the air um, okay up we go gentle as possible okay let's see we're in the shade right now which makes it kind of hard to look for eggs there is one side of that frame oh yep there is that bee back in my face coming like right at my face i don't know what i did to make it so mad there's this side if i can see a queen in post if i missed anything off oh, fuzzy bees fuzzy bees that means they're newly emerged Come on, little bees out of the way please oh my gosh they're like leave me alone i think it's just one bee too Know what I did to offend it. I mean, we're doing we're doing fine in here. Um, there's a lot of cap fruit. I think I see some eggs. It's a little hard to tell because the sun is not here. Oh, and that's really distracting to have one bee just going nuts on my veil. Okay, yeah, I just don't see a queen in there. Okay, down we go. Oh, that same buzzy friend is back. Careful not to roll anybody. Okay, what do we got going on here? More cap through. Oh, found the queen. There she is. See her? Oh, and I lost her when I tried to show the camera. Mm -hmm. Go over the side. Oh, there she is. Yep, we got a healthy queen. She's looking good. Put her back. She's good. Oh, gosh. We don't squish her when I put this back together. All right, I don't think I'm gonna tear the rest apart because I found the queen. Um, everything looks good. I saw, I think, everything I need to see in there. Well, it's encouraging that the queen is alive. I just gotta be really careful when I close this up because she was right by the edge. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, everything's going really great this year. The queen seems much more chill than the queen uh, last year I had. As she moves more chill. She uh, seems to control her brood better. The brood is not out of control. Like. There's obviously a lot of brood in here, but uh, and there's a lot of bees in here, but last year it was just insane. They filled up four boxes and bearded on the outside. It was crazy. I okay, gotta be careful because she was on that frame I'm pushing against and she could have gone over to the other side. So I'm trying to just get a little bit of smoke down in where stuff meets because I don't want to be squishing anybody very slowly. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. So. I'm gonna show this real quick. So the bees are already trying to build comb in the space where I left, the space that I left from pulling out that one frame. Check this out. I believe this is called festooning. When these bees, these bees will like hold together and make bridges and they'll start making comb to uh, bind different parts of the hive together. So this has been out like what, 10, 15 minutes? And the bees are already festooning, trying to make little bridges and build comb out. Isn't that crazy? That's so cool. Try to get these apart a little bit, just so that I can get the frames pushed back together without squishing the girls. Oh, there is a one I squished right there. I don't know if this week or last week, whoops. Come on, girls, move, I see you in there. Move. 
Okay. Reach over and try to pick this up without squishing bees. Hi. Hello, friend. I still have a bee going nuts around my head. It's very frustrating. But it's only one bee. Better than the whole swarm of them, right? Scary. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. Oh gosh, okay. Whew. Okay, now this is the absolute worst part, oh, in my opinion, of beekeeping, is putting everything back together. Uh, number one, just without crushing bees, especially when there's one distracting me by buzzing my veil like crazy. Um, Number two, putting these super heavy, super, I mean, these supers full of honey, they have got to be whooping 80 pounds at least. Like, gosh, because they can be squished here. Like when it, when it snaps loose, just like it did there. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Holy crap, it's heavy. Oh my gosh. gosh so heavy, so much honey. Oh, it's crazy. I really try not to smoke my supers too much because I don't want smoky honey. Maybe that's a flavor some people like, but not what I'm going for. Oh my gosh, it's even heavier. It's gotta be like 90 pounds at least. Makes it so hard to control what I'm doing here. And try not to squish anybody. Oh my gosh, it's hard. Oh gosh, please don't judge me if you see bees getting squished. It's just so hard. It's that heavy. Holy crap. Holy crap. Smoke. You can see all those bees on the top there trying to clean up all the broken honeycomb. Um, those are the bees that are most likely to get squished. Oh gosh, that's really heavy too. At least 80, 90 pounds. Maybe, maybe more. Oh yeah, this is way lighter than this other one's getting very full, but not full yet. Okay, that went really well. Guys, it's probably the best inspection I've ever had, the smoothest inspection. Like, yeah. All right, everyone, like I said, that went really good. That went so smooth compared to normal. It went quicker. Uh, I worked with more confidence. I kept my natural gloves on the whole time, except when taking the supers apart, and that was just because I don't want to rip them. Um, the bees stayed calm. The way I stacked the honey supers this time, it kept the bees from going crazy. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. And we found the queen, Queen Elizabeth is fine. She looks really healthy, lots of cat brood. Um, this, we're in the shade right now. I should've done this later in the day if I wanted sun. Um, so I couldn't really see eggs, but I think I saw eggs. But I was in there two weeks ago and there was less cat brood. So I think we're doing okay. A lot of newly emerged bees. The fuzzy bees are adorable, I love them. But yeah, uh, next video is probably when I'm gonna do some uh, honey harvesting. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you want to see that, uh, see my success and or maybe my failure. All right, see you later.